Hello and welcome to Jonathan from the Heart. My name is Jonathan Asley from JonathanAsley.com and I'm so excited to be shooting this short video for you today. Our topic, can a man love again, love, hmm, love again after his heart's been broken? Can a man love again after his heart's been broken? All right, real quickly, if you're new to my YouTube channel, please hit the subscribe button, hit the bell so you can be notified of new content. These are my Saturday morning videos where I get a little more personal with everyone today. So can a man love again, love, or is it love, love again, love again, after his heart's been broken? Um, this is a really tricky, tough, or this is a real tough subject because I know from personal experience where I felt what what I felt was deeply in love with a woman and I was incredibly attached to her that it felt very hard to you know even though I wanted to fill the gap like okay so here's the thing I was in a relationship with someone where I loved her deeply very deeply attached and when it ended I had this need to immediately fill the gap immediately fill the gap and what I mean is because there was this hole inside of me right there's this person that was in my life is no longer in my life and so um oh by the way my mug says love yourself and the t-shirt says humankind be both if you like my mug or shirt please post a comment below okay so i had to fill that void right away this oftentimes happens when someone has left our life this need to immediately fill the void and while we might seek companionship connection and even sex does that mean we're actually ready to love again to love again and I believe the answer is every man is capable but most men might get stuck when they've had an experience that didn't work out for them and they're stuck on that other person and I say that because I was there for a long period of time after my divorce I, um, some years later, I met a fantastic woman. We went on a six year on and off relationship. <laughs> Believe me, <laughs> I might be a dating relationship coach, but I'm not perfect. I'm human <laughs> like everyone else. I have my foibles. I'm still learning about myself. And our relationship lasted six years. And after it ended uh, the last time, thankfully we had a couple breakups along the way, which allowed me to wean myself from this from this person that I was very attached to, attached to, okay, the word attached. Now, if you're not familiar with the book, Getting the Love You Want by Harvell Hendricks, this is a such an important book to understand yourself and to understand men, because what happens is we oftentimes choose partners in our life that are very familiar to our family upbringing. So we might actually be, like what the book says, attached and if you have, check out the book Attached um, to understand how we might attach ourselves to another human being based on what Harvell Hendricks talks about, the Imago, or Amir Levine talks about our love attachment style, which isn't true love. It isn't true love. And I say this because how can we truly love another until we love ourselves? Love yourself. This is why I'm a big proponent of reading my book, What the Heck is Self-Love Anyway? Check out the links below. I've got my Jonathan Recommends book. So understand that man or woman, we can get attached to another human being, believe that it's love, real, genuine, heartfelt love, when it's simply following a pattern from our childhood or in a love attachment style. Please read these books so you can understand these dynamics. So today, as uh, I want to introduce you to a new book. And if you're not familiar with the work of David Data, David Data wrote a fantastic book called The Way of the Superior Man. The Way of Superior Man. But he also has another book called It's a Guy Thing. It's a Guy Thing, an owner's manual for women to understand men. And while I don't agree with everything in this book, what I appreciate most is that when we start to understand the opposite sex, when men start to understand women and women start to understand men, we can predict behavior. We can predict what's going on. And when we can predict things, we can make better choices in our lives. So when it comes to understanding if a man can love again, 
I, I want you to understand the dynamics of men, not through the female filter, through the female filter, but through the male filter. The male filter. This is why I want you to check out this book. It's a guy thing, so you can understand how men operate differently than women. Because it's not about men and women, it's about human, here, we'll go humankind. It's about, we human beings are, you, we're, we're similar and yet we are different. But it takes time to go, I want to understand the opposite sex. And then I invite the opposite sex to understand the opposite, for those that are seeking uh, heterosexual relationships, by investing and in understanding the other person. This is one of our big problems. And this is why what I want to say is, can a man love after uh, being hurt? Absolutely, after having his heart broken. He is capable of that. When the work is done on oneself to heal, to heal, this is why I'm such a big proponent of reading and going to workshops and doing personal development, self-help and spiritual work. So when one is healed, they feel like they're in a good place. I know for myself, I wasn't in a good place after my relationship ended. It took me, it took me a year to really heal from that. And then sadly, I lost my mother, I lost my son, my business, I didn't feel like working. And I've spent the last few years really healing myself and I only share this with you. I've worked on loving myself because I'm a big proponent of self-love. I'm a big proponent of self-love. And now in my coaching program, I help women vet men so you can recognize the guys who are ready for a relationship and the guys who are not. And if you want some help with that, check out my link for a free discovery call to see if working with a coach is right for you. Because when you understand which man is ready for a relationship and which man isn't, then you can make better choices. And I'm here to to do that for you. I'm here to help make better choices. Sometimes I yell and scream and sometimes I'm a big protector and sometimes I act like your big brother and sometimes I'm cursing. Oh, I just realized I didn't curse. Okay, fuck, I just cursed. Uh, <laughs> sometimes I act parental. All these things is because I want to shake things up and invite you to look at things a different way. And I hope today you got a sense of that. All right, I'm going to wrap up today's video. Oh, by the way, check out the links below in the description to see if any of those would work for you. Okay, I'm going to wrap up this video as I always do. First off, giving myself a big gigantic Jonathan Bear hug of self-love. I'm going to reach into the camera and give you a hug of love if that's okay. I'm going to ask you to turn to somebody and give them a hug of love because hugs are a great source of love and we can all use more love in our lives. I want to thank you so much and wishing you a super duper wonderful day. Bye-bye now.